I try to take some time while I'm out there training, thinking about why I'm doing it. I think through that whole process of training for something and learning how to persevere through pain, you know, you can apply that same principle to a lot of other areas in your life. You're looking a quarter mile, a half mile down the trail, and you're just focusing on getting to that point. Running is really something that I enjoy, and to be able to use that to bless these orphans, that to me is, is a real blessing. There's almost an endless need over there in India to really help these kids. The money that 52.4 raises is specifically designated for HIV AIDS orphans in India. This is Devaraj. He's um, three years old and he's been at the Home of Hope here in India for the, almost a year. He was found in a train station. Both of his parents had committed suicide. They were HIV positive, and Devaraj is also HIV positive. Nobody wanted to touch him. Eventually he was brought to the orphanages that we support in India. These are the children are throw away on the seats of India. We have 16 homes now. Presently we are supporting in the homes 450 infected children. There are thousands of children, innocent children. They born with HIV. Because of your contribution, presently we have many children. They are having hope. Let us do good work. Now, this is the right day. God has given this opportunity in your life to do something. Your run is not in vain. You will be rewarded. You will be rewarded. Our runners and walkers commit to run or walk four half marathons in four weeks. The fundraising is done mainly through reaching out to friends and family and coworkers and local businesses to gain their sponsorship. We operate solely on volunteers and donations so that we're able to send 100% of everything that we raise. We were able to do a ribbon cutting ceremony with a bus that the funds from the runners bought. We were able to take the first ride in the little rickshaw tuk-tuk that we were able to provide for one of the homes. And to be able to see tangibly where our funds have gone is just an awesome thing. the impact that their lives have had on us, I don't think they'll ever fully realize. I remember my father and I think about him and his struggle through HIV. I was too young to be able to stand by him and help him fight through it or uh, to give him that support. So I figured this was the best way to do it. I went in thinking that I was saving them and I was saving the process. I was getting up and, and running and, and, and feeling better about myself. It was a ripple effect. Everything in my life was just changed. <laughs> just don't stop moving. Even if you're walking, you know, just keep going. And I think that's just true for, for life. I would encourage anybody to do it. It's not something that's easy to do, especially back to back like that. It's just a matter of, of doing the training and sticking with it. I love that our team is made up of all different types of people. And the one 
common thing that we have is our heart and our passion to be able to run for a purpose much greater than ourselves. Dear brothers and sisters, I am happy to note that you sacrificed your time and energy is not wasted. Many, they want to help others, they don't get opportunity. Now, you and me are given the opportunity to help the little one. What a joy! The children are rejoicing because of you, because of your love, because of your sacrifice. Because you are running.